Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. Tonight I'm guiding you through a yin yoga practice for migraines. And I have created another practice for tension headaches, so you can always follow up with that video after this practice. But in tonight's practice, we'll be focusing specifically on cooling down an overheated nervous system, which can often result in migraines and also lengthening the ligaments of the upper back and the neck and creating lots of space for silence so that our mind can release and let go into a sense of calm. So in tonight's practice, we will be working with some props. So you can grab either bolsters, some firm blankets, or even some pillows. And you don't have to have as much as I have here. You can just grab what you need to feel completely supported in the practice tonight. And we'll take a few moments to settle in. Closing your eyes. And bringing your left palm up to your chest and then the right. Crossing right palm on top of left. And taking a few deep and cleansing breaths to let go. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling with open mouth. And relax your palms back down towards the knees and gently float your chin towards your chest. And simply breathing into the back of your neck and feeling the shoulders melt away from your ears. Inhaling to roll your right ear to your right shoulder. Exhaling, chin comes back to center. Taking a breath. And rolling your left ear to the left shoulder. and back through center. Inhaling to float your head up over the pelvis. You can open your eyes now. And we'll take a breath here and we're crossing the left arm on top of the right, gently bending at our elbows and reaching for opposite shoulders. Again, allow your shoulders to drop away from the ears and feel the hip bones anchoring down into the earth. And the back of the heart gently broaden. Three breaths into the back of the heart. And softly relax your fingertips and palms, unwind your arms, and let your arms rest down by your hips. Taking a breath again, dropping chin to chest, and rolling right ear to right shoulder, so that you're breathing into the side of the neck. Walk your left fingertips away from your hip just a little bit more. Focusing more on your breath and less on the stretch. Turn your chin down towards the right shoulder. And then exhale, draw the chin back to center and float your head back up over your pelvis. And now let's take 
the right arm on top of the left, hugging the shoulders, closing your eyes. And as the back of your heart widens, can you feel a very gentle lengthening up through the vertebrae of the neck into the base of the skull? Parting your teeth, relaxing your jaw, softening your tongue. And beginning to soften the space between the eyebrows. And let's exhale and softly release, bringing your fingertips back down to the ground. Chin returns to the chest. Rolling left ear to left shoulder so that you're breathing into the right side of the neck. And you might walk your right fingertips a few inches away from the hip. Slowly drawing your chin towards the shoulder, taking one last breath. And then let's float our chin back to center and we'll lift our head up. And you can take some small circles through the shoulders as we prepare for our first yin yoga posture. So be working with child's pose. And tonight I recommend really stacking a lot of props for your chest. So I'm adding two props, so I'm quite high here. You can always lower down a little bit more, or if you need more support, add another layer of blankets or pillows so that there's no effort in this posture. And as we fold forward, rest the abdomen and the heart onto your prop and turn one cheek onto the prop. Letting the shoulders melt and drop.
very slowly and turn your head in the opposite direction, resting your cheek to the prop and breathing into the back of the heart and the back of your neck. Unwind through the neck and bring your head back to center. Palms under your shoulders and slowly lifting your heart. Coming all the way up. Very slowly allowing the blood pressure to readjust. Slow and gentle breaths into your chest. And exhaling with a sigh to release and let go. Let's shift over to one hip. You can clear off your props. And bring both legs around in front of you. And we'll lengthen the ligaments through the back a little bit more. So we're coming into caterpillar pose. Your legs stretched out in front of you. You can add a little support underneath your hips if you'd like. You can also bring a folded blanket under your knees for more lower back support. And let's take a pillow or a bolster on top of our thighs so there's a little bit of weight on the thighs. And then another little prop across so there's a T shape. So you can support your body, support your head, but still have lots of space to breathe here. So we'll take a breath. Rolling the shoulders up, back and down. Dropping into the weight of the hips and legs. And beginning to fold forward, you can rest the abdomen onto your prop and support your forehead. Feeling a beautiful stretch through the upper back and neck. And jaw relaxed.
Walk your palms back by your hips and lift through the heart space, lifting the head over your pelvis. And take a breath and slide both palms back behind you. Very gently lean back and softly bend through the elbows. Lift gently through the back of your heart and see if you can broaden your collarbone, feeling the shoulders slide away from the ears. And you might lift your chin a couple of inches to breathe into your throat. And then let's exhale and draw the body back to center. We're going to come down onto our back and we will be working with one bolster. So you can bend through your knees, sliding the bolster underneath the knees. You can also use a blanket or a yoga block as well. And if you have a folded blanket or a very flat pillow for your head, you can place that behind you so that the base of your skull is supported by the blanket. And then come down onto your back. Again, lengthening through the ligaments of the back and taking a moment to set the base of the skull either onto the floor or that very small prop. And then float your hips up and slide the lower prop underneath your sacrum, adjusting the height so that it's at the right height for your back. And then just pause for a few breaths to feel the pelvis settle, the weight of the hips drop. Again, if it's too much of a strain for the upper back, lower your pelvis a little bit towards the earth. And then as you're ready, we're coming into a cooling inversion waterfall pose, extending your legs to the sky. You can also bring your legs up against the wall if you prefer. Letting your palms rest alongside your body Closing your eyes. Deep and full breaths into the center of your chest. And exhaling with a sigh. Letting go of heat and tension from the nervous system. And feeling into the energetic quality of this posture of waterfall pose. The fluids of the body shifting upward to the heart. Inviting in Soma Shakti the healing power of the moon. And the moon is connected to our mind, chitta, and to our nervous system, and to the parasympathetic nervous system. And that's cooling and regenerative. Imagining this flow of cooling water moving through your toes and flowing up along your spine, bathing the brain and cooling the space between your eyebrows as though your mind were Resting in clear, cool water.
bringing your palms to your thighs and holding the weight of the thighs as you bend through your knees. Resting your feet back to the floor. Sliding your prop away from underneath you and lengthen the lower back as you lower down. And we'll take our arms open into a T-shape and rock our knees from side to side very slowly and gently, taking your head in the opposite direction. Bringing your knees back to center. And tonight you might like to rest in your final relaxation flat on the floor in Shavasan. Or if you'd like to add a back bend, you can rest with a bolster along your spine, finding the right height for your spine. You can also work with a rolled blanket along the spine. Wherever you're at, extending your legs in front of you and perhaps placing a light blanket over your body, closing your eyes and imagining a cool stream of water pouring between the eyebrows. A cool, steady stream of water. Cleansing and dissolving any heat through the nervous system, through the emotions and mind. and allowing the stream of water to expand through all parts of your body, cooling and dissolving tension and stress.
and staying here in this space of rest for as long as you need. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste. And for those of you who'd like to go deeper into yoga practices with me, I'm excited to announce that I'm launching an online yoga membership in October. And right now I have a wait list. So if you click the link below, it'll take you to the wait list. And if you sign up, you'll be the first to know when the membership launches and you'll have access to full length exclusive videos from me. So I hope to see you there. Namaste. For more yoga practices like these, please like this video, comment below and share this video with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.